So what is going to be the main ingredient in the main dish tonight? You. Yeah. <laughs> so in our garden, we have a lot of bamboo spiders. These are orb weaving spiders. I like to just let them be. There are two reasons for this. First of all, I like white life. Even though if it's just semi white life in our garden, the other reason is that they probably eat a lot of the mosquitoes, which would otherwise bite us. So I get to observe these spiders quite a bit. And I also observe their reproductive behavior. A number of things are really unusual about the reproductive behavior of these spiders. In many species, we see that the females are much larger than the males. This is called sexual dimorphism. Here, the smaller male is on top. So what is going to be the main ingredient in the main dish tonight? You. <laughs> Just like with the spiders? Yeah. Yes, this is something which many species of spiders actually do. The female cannibalizes the male. This can happen before an attempt at mating or after mating. There are a number of reasons why this could be the case. It could simply be the case that the larger female overpowers the male and the male doesn't have much choice. The hunting instincts of the female take over. Are you ready? Yeah, this is a romantic date. One, two. Alternatively, the large amount of protein in the body of the male, symbolized here by this chunk of meat, could be something akin to a nuptial gift for the female, making her more motivated to mate with him. What has been proposed in some species, where the males can either mate with smaller or larger females, and the smaller females are actually less likely to cannibalize the males, that the larger females trick the males with a strong pheromone. So here, this is something I filmed just about 20 minutes before the previous footage and the male spider was already dead and the female was arranging it and was sucking out the juices and digesting it. I'm not sure if the male has managed to mate in this case. These orb weaving spiders are one of many species of spiders which show this very unusual cannibalism between males and females. For humans, cannibalism evokes a strong moral repulsion. And this is the point we wanted to make by showing our date how it would run if guys and I were spiders. Now, this kind of morality has no place in biology. It's simply silly to assign human morality to animals. Now, this is the result of a successful mating event. The baby spiders emerge from a cocoon built by the female. Okay, since this is the internet, we want to issue a disclaimer. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually cook me and eat me. We just pretended that we did that so that we can explain the reproductive biology of spiders. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Enjoy.